Hey guys, this is Brad from Dallas Geek, and I'm here today with... I'm Katrina Rose Cosplay. And we're here talking about her cosplay experience. You said that you have been really into cosplay for about a year or so now? Yeah, about a year and a half. Okay. Um, I've not been to many conventions, but I've been to San Diego, okay. which has been crazy. My first time I ever went, I was super shy, self-conscious, and then this year I got to go, and it was a much better experience. It wasn't quite as busy, but I had a lot more fun, and I got to do a lot of photo shoots, so it was really cool. Awesome. And you said this is your first time actually being a guest. Yes, this is my first time having a table. Awesome. Yeah. So how's it been so far? It's been a slower con, which I'm kind of grateful for, yeah. so that I'm not so overwhelmed. Um, but I've actually surprisingly sold a lot of pictures, which is crazy to me that people want my autograph. But yeah, it's been really good. Very nice. Yeah. So what got you into cosplaying to begin with? Um, mostly my best friend. Uh, she's been cosplaying for like 10 years okay. and it's a big hobby of hers and I loved watching her do it and she got a lot of joy out of it and wanted me to do it with her so yeah. So what aspect of cosplay have you been able to latch onto the most? Has it been the actual trying to make uh, making of the costumes? Has it been the embodiment of the characters? Just going to the events and embracing that community? Honestly it's the community. Um, seeing everybody in their environment and how comfortable they are and how much they open up. That's my favorite part. Now I've been following you on Instagram for a little while now and it seems like on top of the traditional cosplay stuff you also are really into the Renaissance Fair yes. stuff. I gotta ask, superhero uh, genre stuff versus Ren Fair, what kind of costumes do you like more? I would totally call myself a Rennie, but I think I'm really into the Marvel costumes. Those are probably my favorite, um, but superheroes. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Um, now, you said that you have been getting into a lot more photo shoots, and so I'm assuming that means you've been working with several different photographers. Um, what's that experience been like for you? In all honesty? Um, it's difficult. Yeah. It's hard to get content, and it's hard to get it quick, and it's not anybody's fault, but it's there's so much on the market that you have to be so fast at it but if you're not paying for this stuff you have to like be patient okay. so that's the hardest part is getting like fresh content and getting it quick okay. but there's a lot of great photographers and I've worked with a lot of different people especially at San Diego so okay. yeah it's been pretty good so far has there been a particular photo shoot moment that stuck out to you as your favorite so far um, well, her and I, my best friend, Desert Rose, shoot together a lot, and we did a Star Trek uh, photo shoot, and I opened a communicator for the first time, yeah. and it made the sounds, <laughs> and I like <gasps> freaked out, and he got it on film, so that was really cute. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Very nice. When it comes to the conventions that you've been to, uh, either just in general or in cosplay, uh, what aspect of the conventions do you latch on to the most? Do you, do you want to try to find and just really dive into as quick as you can? The people really is just my favorite part. Um, I like seeing some of the celebrities, like if it's something I'm interested in, like Fan Expo, my first time cosplaying. Um, we met Charisma Carpenter while we were dressed as Buffy and Cordelia. Nice. And she freaked out and wanted a picture of our cosplays. And we were like, yes. So it's a little bit of the recognition, but it's also like getting to know people and everybody cares so much about each other and they're all so friendly, so. Of course, with cosplay comes social media. What social media platforms are you currently on? I have an Instagram, a Facebook, I have a coffee that is brand new and I haven't used it yet. Okay. Um, and her and I, Desert Rose, both have a Patreon that we do together. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, where have you found that fans are able to interact with you the most or do you find the most fun interacting with them? Instagram, yeah. for sure. It has been the easiest and, um, what is it, like the easiest way to communicate with people, the most interactive. Okay. Um, our Patreon's fun, but it's very exclusive, and obviously it's not free, so Instagram's my favorite. Okay. So do you do any of the like live streaming that Instagram has been kind of pushing a lot more, or are you a lot more of the, you know, post a uh, photo, post a video, and then just 
talk in the comments? Um, mostly talking in the comments. I've never done a live video. I've always wanted to. I actually wanted to do it at San Diego okay. um, and at Star Trek convention, but I don't really know how to interact because I've never done it. Sure. So I want to do that. Okay. And if it's something people are interested in, I would love to, but I like doing like the polls and stuff that people can like answer questions or ask questions, but yeah, stuff like that. Very cool. Then of course, the last question I have to ask, of all the different cosplays you've had a chance to do so far, what's been your favorite? You know, it's a really hard question. Yeah. Um, I love all the costumes that I've done, but the one I had the most fun, like, photographing has been Spider-Gwen, because I got to do a lot of different action poses, and like, I got to s sit on the side of a rail that was like a 30-foot drop, and then have the city in the background, so it was kind of risky, but it was a lot of fun. Very, very nice. If our fans out there wanted to be able to uh, find you, uh, you heard her already. She's on Instagram, Facebook, um, Patreon, obviously. Mm -hmm. And what were the others again? Um, I have a coffee. Coffee? And all of the links are in my Instagram bio. Nice. <laughs> so if you want to check her out, absolutely do so. And until next time, this is Brad with Dallas Geek saying see ya.